So here's a quick look at the uh, digit manipulation using uh, the integrated dial plan that uh, Counterpath X Lite uh, client has. It's across the Bria software as well. And in this case, what I'm doing is um, I've got a local site that uses five digit extension uh, numbers and they're used to dialing five digits. And uh, I'm running a hosted environment, so to distinguish my sites, I use site prefixes. So in this particular case, it's 45 that identifies the site. And uh, I've got the five digits that uh, the label field for the phone, and uh, it's um, so the user is just going to have the same look and feel as the existing system. So the invite message and the registration is actually all uh, a seven digits. In this case, it's going to register with the host, um, the registrar, as 45210 but I could use the uh, manipulation to to actually do that. So just a quick, to for illustration purposes, I've just got a very simple uh, dialing plan rule over here, which basically says, uh, you know, add 45 to any any time you see uh, this pattern coming through. So I'm going to dial 297. 297 is the local voicemail box. So uh, I'll dial 297, and it uh, auto dials. So you can actually watch the Wireshark captures in the background. When done, hang up or... So, as you can see, I dialed 297. It prepended 45. My invite went out as 45297. So that's how I'm able to do five-digit dialing with uh, seven-digit registration and uh, keep the same look and feel. Now, uh, in this particular case, you can actually, depending on your client or your phone, Polycom have the same capabilities. You can actually push the configuration to these devices uh, under the dial plan section. So I hope that was useful in explaining integrated dial plans and digit manipulation on counterpaths Bria.